I know that's a very minor burden compared to what Jesus was experiencing in the garden. But for me, that moment of clarity from the Holy Spirit was a true Easter experience of new life. Then this week, Easter continued for me when I saw the love of Christ at work in a friend offering new life to another person. Listen to this post from Tafuri Brent, who lives in inner city Detroit by choice and spends many, many hours walking the streets of his neighborhood to make a positive statement of his presence there. Tafuri writes, a young brother approached me the other day when I was entering my home and asked me if I was still doing prisoner reentry work. I told the young brother I was still connected. At that time, I realized it was the young brother that broke into my house a few years ago that I refused to prosecute. I asked him why he asked. He said he'd gotten his record expunged and he wanted to get his GED. He went on to add that he was working and has been working 50 hours a week for the last five years and hasn't committed another B&E since that day at my house. He said the mercy I gave him changed his life. I humbly told the young brother it was the God in me that saw the God in him that would not allow me to press charges. The brother was so grateful in his posture and humble in his presentation that I had to love on the brother. After ministering to the young brother, I then gave him information about a nighttime GED program that he could attend after work. I told the young brother I would tutor him and help him get his GED if he was serious and dedicated. I'm so proud of this brother. He mustered the courage to change his mind, and I honor him for that. I share this story not to bring glory to me, but to acknowledge this young brother and the power in God's mercy, grace, and love. That's why I don't give up on our boys. This is why I don't, can't, give up on my city. My Bible teaches me that love conquers all, and love never fails. I choose to believe God. So now I wonder, how did you experience Easter? Which of the stories surrounding the resurrection have spoken most powerfully to you? How have you known the risen Christ? small group you can speak. I'm just very grateful that Steve didn't fall off that ladder. Oh. <laughs> Steve. We were using the Abby Shane and that we can pray the whole time. Yeah, we had incredible safety. Anybody else want to share anything? Or maybe a previous year Easter experience, or maybe your Easter experience happened over the 4th of July, or um, sometime when you were camping, or... Steve? Just the dedication of the people that put on the musical. That's, uh, to me, that's very amazing. It is. It's a lot of hours, and um, somebody said something to me. I don't know how they knew that you've been rehearsing for a month. Um, of course, they didn't know how few rehearsals happened in that month. And they said to me, I can't believe they put this together with just a month. Um, that sounded so incredible, so professionally done, so powerful. And um, as they were saying it, I thought, you know, that's the gift we have here at Salem, that we have the talent, and not just raw talent, but people who've worked to perfect that, to be able to give 
us such a powerful gift. And all of the pieces come together, including the people with not a lot of talent that are willing to work to help get things set up. And it's just their time. Yeah. You know, I had two computers go bad the week before. And the slideshow to me is a very important part of that message that was given on that day. And I thought, am I going to have to give up? What am I going to do? But the Lord provided another way for me to get the slideshow. And, and it was just a fluke. I happened to have emailed it to myself before, the, right before the computer went bad, the last computer. And if I hadn't done that, then I would have had to start from scratch. So the Lord just put that on. And so that was definitely a <laughs> hand of God in that. Pastor Dan belting it out. That was pretty cool. Yes, what a what a um, opportunity for Dan to shine, and um, it's a unique position for me to be not ordained and to be serving a congregation with two ordained people worshiping here. Um, and Dan and Pamela both are so gracious and so supportive and so careful not to interfere in any way, and I feel like we should be letting their gifts be expressed more here, um, and so it was really a thrill for Dan to be able to be part of the um, presentation on Saturday and Sunday, and um, I hear him singing sometimes if he's close enough during worship, but um, to get to hear his voice that way was really a treat. And at this time in his life, a time of transition, um, I think it was great to give him something to be so positive about. And then little Sophia, um, you may not have realized because her voice is so wonderful that she started the singing on um, One with God. At the end, just before Jesus comes back into the sanctuary, it starts with a single voice. And that was little teeny tiny Sophia that started that song off. Um, that girl's going to really be able to do a lot with that voice if she chooses to. And this is a church that allows it. This is a church that allows people to grow into the gifts they've been given and then to use them. A week before Easter, if you had told me that Aiden would be in our worship services, I have laughed. On Good Friday, when Emily and Matt brought Trevin to me to bring here for dress rehearsal, and Emily said, Aiden says he wants to be in it. Matt, Emily, and I all looked at each other like, really? This isn't going to go well. And yet, he did what he was supposed to do. He was thrilled to do it. And he could do it because of who this church is, the way that you've accepted him and loved him with all of his uniqueness. And um, that's Easter New Life for us, too. I also felt very blessed because um, trying to tell that story with one or two singers is such a, it's such a, I mean, it's an important story and everybody knows it, but it was such a blessing for me to have Christina and Dan and Mike come in, who had been one of those singing partners, Caiaphas, and it just, I think, was a better story. It was just a better way to tell the story, a better way to spread that message, and a lot clearer as to what was intended for each part of it. Because I think in the past, you know, we had to skip over parts because there was not someone there to kind of demonstrate. Anything to share right now? Um, we'll present our offer. 